This meeting is being recorded. What? Who's that? Yeah. All right, you guys. So in addition to all of our prayers, keep the Ukraine in prayer and Russia and all of these war-torn countries. A um, lot going on right now uh -oh. out there. So, yeah. Just... They pay for the snow. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Um, okay, okay, okay. So we're going to get started. My, 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 it's, it's, no, he's, it's, the dog is listening. They are listening. The dog listening. They are listening. Not the dog. They are listening to the Bible. He is. He loves Bible study. <laughs> so that was it for prayer requests, right? Yeah. Okay. And just our church. Why? Why? All right, so our scripture tonight is Luke eighteen twenty two, and it's only three words, Faith. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Go ahead. Come follow me. There you go. Come follow me. Okay. Got the Lord's Prayer. Tanaya, are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. We are Father. Come on. Don't stop. Come on. Do you for you. Do you want me to do it tonight? No. Okay, well then read it or say it. You know it. Our Father, who which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil, but thine is the kingdom, the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. I can't say the last word. Hang on. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Good job. Amen. All right. So this is the last lesson in this series. And then next Thursday, we'll start a new one uh, for spring. So this one is the Good Shepherd. We're still in John. So and we're still learning about John's stories about Jesus. So <clears throat> Last week, we heard about, uh, we read about what Jesus did for a man that was born blind. And do you remember what Jesus put on his eyes on to scene. give him his sight back? Mud. Mud, exactly. Huh? And then I think Tanaya's Bible said mm -hmm. clay, but clay and mud, mm -hmm. same thing. So today mm -hmm. we're going, shh, okay. Tubby. Today, we're going to hear about what Jesus said about being a shepherd. And so, um, does anyone know what a shepherd is? I know what it is. What is it? Feed the flock. That's right. It's the, the man who owns and cares for and protects the sheep and tends the flock. You're absolutely right. And what is a sheep? A sheep is like a lamb. Kind of. Um, it's a woolly, fluffy, four-legged animal that says, bah. A goat? <laughs> no, not a goat. A lamb. Uh, yeah. yeah. And what is a hired man? A know? shepherd. Um, kind of. It's a person who is paid to help with the sheep. So the shepherd um, is in charge. But then a hired man is someone that comes and helps, probably to like 
you know, maybe pick up poop or something. Who knows? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Probably to feed them or to get, you know. Save the hair. And what is a sheep pen? Do you know what a sheep pen is? No. No. I know it. What is it, Tanaya? A pasture. Yeah, you're right. It's like a corral, like, you know, a place where the sheep are kept for safety and protection so they don't roam away, right? Mm -hmm. And yeah. what is a flock? Hmm. You know that? Um, a flock is when the sheep in a herd. Yes, a bunch of sheep. Very good. And yeah, good what is a thief or a robber? A right. thief. Mm -hmm. Someone who takes what someone else owns, right? Something that doesn't belong right. to them. Good job. So that's some of the stuff we're going to hear about now. The Bible might use, depending on your version, they'll probably use different words, but that's kind of um, just going over some of the stuff that Jesus is going to talk about in these scriptures. So we're going to be in John chapter 10 tonight. Okay. It's sick. It's 16 verses, Tanaya. Do you want to read all 16 or do you want to split it up with me? I want to read all 16. Okay, that's fine with me. All right, so you're going to start chapter 10. You're going to start at verse 1 and read all the way through verse 16. Okay. Okay, if you're ready and you have it, then you can go ahead and start. Most assured, is that? Assuredly, assuredly, yes. I say to you, who does not enter the sheep fold by the door, but climbs up some other way, the same is a thief and a robber. Going. But he, but he who enters by the door in the shepherd of the sheep, to him doorkeeper open and and the sheep hears his voice and and he calls his old sheep by name and leads them out. Then when he brings his own sheep, he goes before them, and the sheep follow him, for they knew his voice. Yet they, yet they will by no means fall a stranger. But, but will we from him, they do not know the voice of the stranger. Jesus uses illustration. Mm -hmm. But, but they did not understand, understand the things which which he spoke to them. And then Jesus said to, to them again, most assuredly, I said to you, on the door of the sheep, and all who ever came before me did not or thieves and robbers, and, but the sheep did not hear them on the door. If anyone enter by me, I will be saved and go out, will and go in and out of the and my pasture. The thief did not come 
except to steal and kill and do the sword. I have that. They have life and and that they have it have have more abundantly and uh, I am the good shepherd the good shepherd gives his life for sheep but hiring Hiring but hire hi hiring spell it for me. Huh? Spell it for me. Okay. It's H I R E. L-I-N-G. Hireling. Yes, it's the same thing kind of when we talked about a hired hand or a hired man. That's yeah. um, you, you can also say a hireling. Oh. He who, not the shepherd, shepherd, one, Shepherd one who does not does not own the sheep sees the the wolf coming. Mm -hmm. Keep going. And, and leaving the sheep and flees. The wolf catches the sheep and scatters them. Mm -hmm. Huh? Going? Are you tired of reading or you want to keep going? No, I'm not tired of reading, no. Okay, then keep reading. The hurling flees by a higher ring and does not care about the sheep. I am the good shepherd and I know my sheep and I am uh, known by own. Mm hmm as a, Huh? Yes, keep going. As the father knows me, and even so I knew the father and laid down my life for the sheep. One more verse. And the other sheep I have. I have which are not of this fold, and though them also I must bring and hear my voice, and there will be one flock and one shepherd. Good job. Awesome. Okay. Awesome reading. So, yeah, so Jesus compared himself to a shepherd, right? Yes. And so he was talking about in the beginning, um, anyone who sneaks over the wall rather than going through the gate must be a thief and a robber. 
So he also said he's the gate, or I think Tanaya's, I think your version said that I am the door, right? Uh, mm -hmm. So some of them, mine says gate, same thing. So the way to God is through, you only get to God through, nobody comes to the Father except through, Jesus. Exactly. Good job. So Jesus is the way. He's the door. He's the gate. So he was, he said, I am the gate. And anyone who jumps over the gate or doesn't come through the gate is a thief or a robber, right? So he yeah. didn't want them following anyone else. He wanted them to follow. He wants us to listen to his voice and follow him just like mm -hmm. sheep follow their shepherd. So he was saying, my sheep know my voice. So you know when your mom is calling you, right? You know her voice, right? Yeah. If, if she tells you, come over here, you're going to do it. Now, if some random person, some other woman started telling you to come over to her, would you listen to her if you didn't know her? Yeah. I don't think so. No, no. Someone that you didn't know, will you go with somebody that you don't know? No. No, that's dangerous, right? So you're going to go with your, your parent, mom, or whoever you're with, your caretaker. You're going to go with them, and you know their voice. You know when you hear your mom, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. And so <clears throat> that's kind of what he was saying. My sheep know my voice. So, so who is that good shepherd that we should follow? Jesus. Jesus. Very good. And why do we want to follow Jesus instead of someone else? Mm -hmm. Like someone who sneaks over the wall. What did he say they were? Robbers. Robber. Exactly. Because they are like thieves and robbers, right? So he wants yeah. us to listen to his voice and follow him, right? Yeah. So we're going to go to our workbook and read this story. Let's see. I don't know where John went. Oh. The, okay, so it's just the one page. There you go. All right. Faith, are you going to read the story? Yeah. Okay. Jesus told a scary you know, story mm -hmm. about sh sheep. See if you understand. Good. What it means, sheep need a shepherd. Shepherd, the shepherd takes care of his sheep. The shepherd loves his sheep he keeps them safe he makes sure they have everything they need the shepherd knows his sheep he calls each of them by name. The sheep know their shepherd's voice. They follow him. They go where he leads them the sheep 
do not know. A. Strangers. Strangers' voice. They will not follow a stranger they knew and follow their shepherd's voice. Let me bring this up a little bit and then I'll go right back where you were. Okay, right here. No one loves the sheep as a shepherd does the shepherd will. They wait, lay down his life for his sheep. A hired hired man does not care for the sheep in the same way he does not love them as his own he is just doing a job if a wolf attacks attacks the sheep the hired hired man will run away he will leave the sheep he will take care of himself first Sometimes thieves, thieves, and robbers. Good, robbers. Awesome. Try to steal the sheep. They do not care for the sheep. They care and destroy, destroy the sheep. Do you understanding Jesus story here is how he Explain it. Jesus is the good shepherd. A shepherd. We are his sheep. He loves us he knows each of us by name he makes sure we have everything we need jesus loves us so much he was willing w willing the uh, to die for us if we believe in Jesus he saves us from sin if we follow Jesus he leads leads us to follow wait wait the life no the good wait god god 
the life. God, you're right. You had it right. The life God wants for us. Follow Jesus. Voice. Listen. Listen to him. Do not listen to others. They are like thieves. What? Thieves. Thieves and robbers. They Lead. Lead you away from God. Awesome job. Okay. Good, babe. Good. Yeah. So those thieves and robbers lead you away from God. So they were also talking about how the hired man, since they're not his sheep, he's just hired to come and help. He doesn't really care about the sheep. He's just there to get money, right? To make money as job. So if something comes around that's dangerous, he doesn't care. So he leaves the sheep there to get killed and takes care of himself first. Would Jesus ever leave us there to get hurt? No, mm -mm. no, never, ever, ever. He will never leave us or forsake us and he will always protect us. So there you go. Oh, come follow me was our Bible verse. Oh boy, amaze. All right. Well, go ahead and read our directions, George. M -A -G bottom Good. All right. So we're going to follow. The sheep is going to follow the shepherd through the maze. Okay, so we can't just go in a straight line right here. <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, oh, goodness. Uh, help the sheep follow the shepherd through the maze. Well, all I see is one straight line to the shepherd. Yeah. yeah. Don't you? Because even if you go here, you're blocked. There's uh -oh. no oh, other way in, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's just a straight line. Well, that's uh -oh. easy. Huh? I can't mess that up too badly, John. Oops. I just did. <laughs> there. Okay. Well, that was easy enough. All right, what have we got? Left? Who is the good shepherd we follow? We already answered that. Yeah. All right, so our uh, story this week is called Witch Voice. Uh, Tanaya, are you up for reading the story? Yes, I'm up to it. Okay, awesome, okay. come on over. Okay. Jeff needed to make a choice, it was like he had two voices in his head. One voice said, do, is it to do? Yes. One. One thing, oops. Okay. The, uh, the other voice said to do another. Go ahead, have a little fun. Stay up too late to watch. The movie, well, you can sleep late tomorrow. 
it will not matter if you miss church one time mm -hmm. bird is it whisper whispered yes whispered one voice you can't watch the movie anytime get good night mm -hmm. rest huh yes okay be ready to enjoy church tomorrow says the other voice I really is that upset? This one this says I really want. <clears throat> huh? I really want. I really want to watch this movie thought Jeff. I but I also want enjoy church tomorrow i is it i know uh-huh still i will is it still or will will i know i will i know i will be grumpy and if huh if if stay up late tonight which voice calling Jeff to follow Jesus which voice was telling him to follow the devil, what do you think Jeff choose? Good job. So I think we all fight with that sometimes. So one voice was telling him, oh, go ahead and stay up late and be grumpy tomorrow and miss church if you want to watch that movie. And the other voice was saying, no, I really want to be. I can watch that movie some some other time. <clears throat> I'm going to get a good night's rest so I can enjoy church tomorrow. So sometimes we struggle with choices, right? Mm -hmm. And we hear two little voices in our head, one saying, oh, we can do that. And the other one saying, no, we really shouldn't. So the voice, which voice was telling Jeff to follow Jesus? The voice that was telling him to stay up late and be grumpy and miss church? No. 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 Uh -uh. The one that was saying, you can watch the movie anytime, get a good night's rest and be ready to enjoy church tomorrow, right? And so, of course, the other voice was telling him to follow the devil. So which one do you think he chose? The devil. You think so? I don't know if he would choose. Yeah, I don't either. I hope that he chose the it's good voice. I hope that he I hope that he chose to follow Jesus and be ready for church and not stay up late. But you're right, Tanaya. We don't know. We don't know what choice he made. We can just hope that he made. I know I would make the good choice because I don't like missing. Me? It's not worth missing church. No. Or being grumpy for that matter. Grumpy. Nobody, nobody wants to be around you when you're grumpy, so I don't want to be grumpy. <laughs> yeah, me either. Yeah. Okay. Follow your shepherd. Be like a sheep following its shepherd's voice. Listen to oh. the good shepherd, Jesus. Read his words from the Bible. Circle each sheep if you will follow Jesus's teaching in the Bible verse. Oh my goodness. So we have four out of Matthew, one out of Luke, and one out of John. So yeah. since we're already in John, let's go to John 13, 34. 
circle that one because that's we're going to do that right yeah absolutely all right now go to luke, oh, luke. luke. Oh, yeah, yeah. chapter yeah. six i always think of star wars when we say luke remember when he said yeah. luke i am your father <laughs> is that, is that luke Skywalker? <laughs> yeah <laughs> Reminds me. Okay, so go to Luke chapter six, Tanaya. I'm right here with Luke. Are you okay? Let me get there. Hold on. So Luke okay. chapter six, verse thirty-one. You can do that. Just and just as you want men to do to you. And you, you also do in them likewise. Good job. So do unto others as you want done unto you. Yeah. All right. And bloop. Okay. Um, so now we're going to go through through Matthew. So let's start at Matthew chapter five. Okay. Oh, I found chapter five. Okay. So it says Matthew chapter five, verse four. Okay. Blessed are those who mourn, are those who mourn, for they, mine says, for they will be comforted, huh, mine says, God blesses those who mourn, for they will be comforted, what does your okay. whole verse four say, who, are those who, more for shall be comforted. Okay. So we will comfort those who mourn. Is that <laughs> okay? Sure. <laughs> we'll do that, Jesus. All right. And I'll go to Matthew chapter six. Okay. Verse 14. I am chapter six. 14. Chapter six, verse 14. Yeah. Okay, what does yours say? Four. For if you forgive their trespasses, your heavenly father will will also forgive forgive you All right so we forgive those who hurt us and uh our and god will forgive us right yeah mm -hmm. we can do that we'll be forgiving It's hard to circle these and they're so close together. All right, so we're going to still be in Matthew chapter 6. Now we're going to verse 25. Oh, wait, hi. 
25. What does yours say, Tanaya? Therefore, I say to you, do not worry about your life and what you eat or what you drink, nor about your body, what you have put on is not life more than food and the body more than clothing. Good. So we're not going to worry about God providing for us, right? We have to have faith and trust that he's going to take care of us with all of our needs, right? I mm -hmm. Well, I'll do that. I'll trust God. Okay. And then the last one, Matthew chapter 22. 22. Sound 22. Okay, so starting at verse 37 through verse 39. Okay. You want me to read all this? Yeah, just this. Uh, it's three verses. So 37, 38, and 39 in chapter 22. Jesus said to him, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart with all your soul and with all your mind. This, this is the first and great commandment. And the second is you shall love your neighbor as yourself. Good job. So we must love the Lord with Lord our God with all of our heart and soul and mind and love our neighbor as ourself. I think we can do that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Good job reading all that scripture. All right. Thank you for reading that. You're welcome. Well, look at that. Well, we still got done early. <laughs> Oh my goodness, let's see. So we have, so we're gonna be in John next, we're gonna start a new a new book. So I'm not sure, do I have the new book? Hang on, I think I have it. All right, I have our new book. We're going to be doing John's stories about Jesus's ministry. Yeah, John have 11, one book. Yeah, John 11, one through 46, right? How long? Let me, well, that's a lot of uh, verses to read. So tonight and I will probably have to split it up because that's a lot of verses. Yeah. So next week will be Jesus raises Lazarus. Remember when Jesus raised up Lazarus from the dead? Yeah. Yeah. So that'll be our lesson next week. So you and me can read it? Yeah, you and I are going to read that tonight. We'll, we'll, we'll be a good okay. reading team next week. A reading team. A reading team. All right. So awesome job. So one thing you learned or remembered from this lesson, we'll start with John. Uh -huh. Now, one thing you learned or remembered from this lesson. You want to think about it? Uh, uh, John? The story John was telling? Yeah. Yeah, okay, awesome. Yes, John was telling the story. And George? Here we go. <laughs> what about God? Okay. 
Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. Tanaya? Pasture. The pasture, okay. Faith? The sheep. The sheep, very good. Awesome. Very, very cool. I like when they said um, that other people you know, that they're like thieves and robbers and not to follow them. And that, you know, nobody's going to take as good of a care of you or care as much as Jesus does, right? Right. Yeah. About us. Yeah. Really awesome. And he will always be there to protect us. Really, Cinnamon? Is that right? Is that what you learned? He's talking. She is. Please, sir. You hear her? She's. Please, sir. I, I don't know. What did you, she likes the sheep. You like the sheep? <laughs> what do you do that for? What's the other dog? He does the shake. You know what? He went in, he's been loving sleeping on my chair lately on my blanket that I like to sit on. And so he left and I heard him get up in my chair. So he's asleep in my chair right now. <laughs> that dog that that likes to sleep? He really does. They both do, but they're very, they're very going, spoiled. They're going, they're going to sleep. Uh, yeah, right. Oh, she likes to shake. Yeah, she gets that shake. Kind of like we stretch when we get up, she shakes. <laughs> All right, who yeah, is going to pray? Oh, yeah. look at her. <laughs> Who's going to pray us out? The dog. <laughs> Cinnamon, do you want to pray? <laughs> Cinnamon, are you going to pray? She's like, yeah, I'll pray. I don't care. <laughs> Hi, baby. All right. Who's going to pray us out? Me. You? Okay, go ahead, George. I'm going to count everything the Jesus film and the family can be in and amen. Amen. Awesome. All right, you guys, are we going to see you Saturday? Yeah. All right, yeah. we'll see you Saturday for boot camp. Awesome okay. job tonight. Have a great Bye. rest of your week, and we'll see you Saturday. Okay. Bye. 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 Bye.